Today, my colleagues and I are introducing a bill to prohibit the sale, transfer, manufacture, and importation of assault weapons and large capacity ammunition feeding devices that can accept more than 10 rounds. Let me briefly describe the legislation we're introducing. We prohibit 158 specifically named military style firearms. Since the 1994 law expired, there has been an influx of new models of assault weapons. These models are more powerful, more lethal, and more technologically advanced than the weapons were in 1993. Our bill also prohibits other semi-automatic rifles, handguns, and shotguns that can accept a detachable magazine and have one military characteristic. One criticism of the 94 law was that it was a two-characteristic test that defined it, and that was too easy to work around. Manufacturers could simply remove one of the characteristics, and the firearm was legal. The bill we are introducing today it will, be, will make it much more difficult to work around by moving a one-characteristic test. The bill also prevents and prohibits specific loopholes, such as the slide iron stock, which can be added to an AR-15, which essentially makes it mimic automatic weapons, and it's legal. Thumbhole stocks and bullet buttons, these are all modifications that make it easy for manufacturers to evade the law. The bill prohibits semi-automatic rifles and handguns with a fixed magazine that can accept more than 10 bullets, excuse me, 10 rounds. A ban on importation of assault weapons and large capacity magazines. Elimination of the 10-year sunset. Let me tell you what the bill will not do. It will not affect hunting or sporting firearms. Instead, the bill protects hunters and sportsmen by protecting 2,200 specifically named weapons used for hunting or sporting purposes. They are by make and model exempted from the legislation. When we did this bill in 93, there were 375. Today, there are 2,200. Finally, the bill subjects existing or grandfathered weapons to a background check in the event it, the weapon is sold or transferred. So we have tried to learn from the bill. We have tried to recognize legal hunting rights. We have tried to recognize legal defense rights. We have tried to recognize the right of a citizen to legally uh, possess a weapon. No weapon is taken from anyone. The purpose is to dry up the supply of these weapons over time. Therefore, there is no sunset on this bill.